Hello everyone and welcome back to the Critter Corner. Today I am at Aquarium Encounters in the Florida Keys to pet some marine isopods, feed some stingrays, and a bunch more. So let's get right into it. Marine isopods are the biggest species of isopods in the world. I was expecting them to be a lot bigger, but they weren't that big. But compared to the little isopods we keep at home, they are huge. Getting to hold and interact with these isopods was honestly one of the coolest experiences I've ever done. It's really a once in a lifetime opportunity. We live very far away from the Florida Keys and obviously it's expensive to travel. So I'm really glad I got to do this. This is, I think one of the, one of three places in the world that you can see marine isopods. And I think this might be the only place that you can touch and interact with them. After the isopods on the way to the alligators, we got to see a ton of cool fish and sharks and manatees. We came across a pond of American alligators that were little babies. We got to feed them. So yeah, we got to get some alligator food. I'm pretty sure it was just dog food, but we got to feed the alligators. They were all super cute, super excited to eat. And these guys are really tiny compared to how big they get when they're adults. Next, we got to go over to the freshwater turtle pond. This turtle pond had red-eared sliders and a bunch of other um, turtles. They had some local species and some non-local species. These guys, we got to feed some lettuce, some carrots, different um, vegetables too, and they were super cute, super eager to eat. These turtles in here, there's a mix of a bunch of different like freshwater, like river turtles. There were red-eared sliders, yellow belly sliders, I think red Florida belly sliders was the name of one of them. Um, yeah, just a bunch of different freshwater turtles. These guys are obviously adorable. Um, it was cool watching them all fight over the food, but I just, I love when I get to like closely interact and build a relationship with an animal. And I felt like these guys were really special. There were a couple more different turtles in this area, including the alligator snapping turtle. We also got to watch eat. They also had a common snapping turtle, a pig nose turtle, and then there were also some tortoises. So we got to see some red foot tortoises and some baby sulcata tortoises getting fed in the morning. Next, we went over to the Stingray Cove. They had a ton of different stingrays here. They had adults, they had juveniles, they had babies, and they had really tiny like little hatchlings. They said they were about three weeks old, so they were super duper small. And we got to feed these stingrays over here as well as some lobsters. Um, both were touch tanks. I didn't touch the lobsters, but we got to feed them some shrimp and then we got to go over and pet the stingrays. Feeding the stingrays was really cool. This is something I've never done before. I've seen like stingray touch tanks, which by the way, stingrays are so smooth. They feel like kind of like a porpoise, like any like smooth sea creature. Um, they're really cool. And they were so weird when they ate. <laughs> they were like aggressive, but their mouths are very gentle. And yeah, this was a really cool opportunity. So I'm glad I got to do this too. We also got to see some horseshoe crabs. This one is a little baby. I got to pick him up. Look at his little feet. I love flipping over our horseshoe crabs and isopods. Their um, feet and legs are just so cool. But yeah, we got to see all this stuff over here. And then we went over to the marina, which is where they have the ocean. And we got to see some pelicans and a bunch of different fish. After the marina, we just walked around and saw a bunch of other critters. There were so many cool animals at this little aquarium and this is also the one of the only places in the country where you can pet marine isopods where you can see marine isopods and this is definitely why i came we went back to see them again um and the water is freezing cold so i almost got hypothermia from picking them up and flipping them over but they are just so cool and i'm so glad that i got to come here and experience this because it is so far away we drove a total of I think 20 hours to get here but it was definitely worth it to see those isopods. Besides everything I mentioned there were a lot more cool stuff that I don't even remember the names of but I'll insert some clips here of a bunch of other cool stuff we got to see at this aquarium. This 
is such a pretty place to visit. They also have iguanas over at this beach area that I'm sitting at. I couldn't find any. They're definitely hiding and I definitely can hear some rustling in the trees, but it's a really like open area and open space and just so many cool critters you get to meet and a lot you get to feed and pet, which is even cooler. Thank you so much for watching today's video on the Critter Corner. If you have any experiences with marine isopods yourself, comment them down below. Um, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.